All right, y'all, what's going on? It's Combo Breaker 99 back with another quick post fight discussion video. All right, y'all, let's talk about y'all's favorite fight last night on the car Molly McCann versus Diana Bell Beater 2. This time it took place at 115. First off, I got to say, you know, shout out to Molly McCann for really understanding like what she needs to do and what she needs to work on. Like, not only did she realize that she was in the wrong weight class, but, you know, I thought that she was fine at 125. I thought it was just the skill sets, but. Maybe she felt something different about her body. Maybe she felt like, you know, she just needed to cut the weight and she needed to discipline herself as far as how she walked around and, and you know, how um, she felt about her body, you know, in general. But uh, also, I got to give her a lot of respect for, you know, stepping up her um, stepping up her skill sets. You know, she wants to grow as a fighter. You know, she understands that you can't come in here as a one dimensional fighter, especially if you want to advance. Like I've always seen Molly McCann as just like a fighter that the UFC would keep around because she has a big fan base, but I never seen her as like, you know, somebody that was going to be like a threat for the title. Like where she stands is okay. Where she stands, as long as they match up with the right people, fine. You know, she'll always have her crowd from the, from Liverpool and, you know, she'll continue to beat people with her spinning back, spinning back elbow. Right. But eventually somebody like Molly McCann is going to want to step up her game. You know, she knows that I have to step it up and, you know, I want to, you know, she probably feels like, you know, I want to be seen as more than just like this entertainer. You know, I want to get into the top 10. I want to get into the top five or whatever. Right. So she knew that, OK, I have to step up my game, you know, after, especially after fighting Julia Story Rankle and, and Aaron Blanchfield. She got that wake up call, like doesn't, doesn't feel good, good getting submitted the way she did, you know. So she started doing the grappling tournaments. You know, she started working on that skill set. And um, yeah, she kind of understands that now. So, you know, I respect that. Um, and that's all I've been saying about the opposite fighters like Jillian Robertson, you know, Jillian Robertson, like, you know, she's a good submission artist, but she's the opposite as far as her stand up game. Like she really needs to improve in that department and, you know, really take that, take that seriously. But her and Molly, they're kind of in the same position right now. You they both moved down to 115 and they both are trying to, um, you know, step out the box a little bit. But yeah, last night, you know, Molly McCann did what I expected her to do. I thought she might, might score a knockout this time around. You know, she kind of dictated the pace. Uh, Diana Bell Beater is a longer fighter, but she just kind of fought behind Molly. I know she landed like a few good long shots because I saw Molly McCann's nose bleeding. But for the most part, you know, Molly was touching the body a little bit, uh, putting on a better, you know, showmanship with the boxing, you know, co combinations. And, you know, surprised a lot of people with the two takedowns. You know, she went in there and said, OK, I want to test these skills out. And she was able to pick up Bell Beater two times and put her down on the canvas and, um, showcase those grappling skills, you know, showcase a little bit of ground and pound and just went in for a textbook arm bar. And, you know, that's that's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. You know, she locked in that arm bar in the first round and got the submission win. You know, um, of course, you know, the quality of opponent is not like the best, but that's what you have to do as a growing fighter. You know, if you want to showcase that skill, you have to test it out. You know, you have to test it out. So you need to go in there and say, OK, let me go against an easy fighter now and take this type of fighter down so I get comfortable. It's all about the confidence right now. And I think that's all she really needed, um, you know, to do in this fight was to just feel confident in her in her grappling, you know. Um, so, yeah, moving on from here, I think, yeah, she looked good last night at 115. You know, she looked decent as far as the weight didn't look weak, still like she had her power and her strength, you know, of course, against the quality of quality of opponent so i think from here you know if she really wants to test out her grappling you know even like her takedown defense i think she needs to fight somebody like um vanessa demopoulos you know i think demopoulos is a really dangerous fighter on the ground and that would test out the submission defense of molly mccann um also i would like to see her her counter skills or boxing skills against demopoulos you know, because Demopolis, you know, she likes to run in and she likes to fight hard. You know, she'll run in with her overhand right. She has that heart. She leads with her face. But, um, you know, she's tough. So that would kind of test the cardio as well of Molly McCann. So maybe like another unranked fighter or two. And after that, we'll see if she can get to the top 15. But, uh, yeah, that's all I got on this one, guys. I just wanted to, you know, give a shout out to Molly McCann because that's what you got to do. You know, I got to give a fighter credit um, when they want to step out of the box. She doesn't want to be considered a, a one-dimensional fighter. You, you see her want to grow, you know, same as other fighters like Jean Jean and Wei Li. You know, you see them step out of the box when they start losing to better strikers or better grapplers. What do they do? You know, they start becoming better grapplers and better strikers, right? That's all you got to do. 
But um, let me know what y'all think of the fight. What's next for Molly? Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.